so we're back in Iceland and it's very cold it's six it's supposed to get to six below zero which is really cold by Iceland standards and we have clear skies and we have aurora starting to poke out so I've come to a place uh, called Thingvalir which is a very historical place here in Iceland and we're very close to another waterfall called Oxerfoss and a little bit later hopefully when the aurora is a little bit more to the to the northwest right now it's kind of northeast because it's early in the evening a little bit later we're gonna go there and hopefully um, the aurora will get high enough above the horizon right now it's staying pretty low on the horizon which forces me to shoot kind of up on the flat um, behind me we have a trail here which goes down the the uh, continental divide which is really cool and if the aurora gets high enough I wanted to try to see if we could kind of frame the aurora above the kind of canyon walls but right now it's pretty low on the horizon so we're gonna do some up here on the flat using the textures in the snow and hopefully we can come away with a, a good shot so beautiful cold but so good to be back in Iceland So when I shoot scenes like this, typically I start with my foreground image. So that foreground, because I'm kind of low to the ground, I need to stop down a little bit so I don't have a really out of focus foreground. In this case, I'm shooting with a 14 millimeter lens, so I stop down at f4, which gives me enough depth of field. And then I lengthen my shutter speed to 30 seconds to compensate for that less for the less light that I'm letting in because I stopped down my aperture. For my sky, I'm wide open at f1.8. I'm shooting at 14 millimeters, and because the aurora is moving, I'm limited with my shutter speed because I don't want blurry aurora. So I'm only going with four seconds, and that forces me into an ISO that's somewhere between ISO 2000, 3200. I think right now I'm at 2500. And, uh, and then I shoot a time lapse. That way I can kind of pick my favorite frames. Maybe I can stitch it together in a nice little time lapse for this video and or something else. And the final result looks like this. The aurora has absolutely been going off tonight. Had clear skies all night, the aurora's been pretty active, and now it's it's about one in the morning now, and it's, um, it's peaking. It's just really, really incredible. I think we're at about a KP4 tonight, which when you're this far north is plenty. The, the I'm actually looking at the northern lights to the south of us because it's, the KP level is pushing the Aurora Borealis so far south. Really, really beautiful show tonight. I've been shooting some time lapses and I've been photographing both this little lighthouse back here, which is the old lighthouse, and then the lighthouse in the background here, which is the new lighthouse. Really having a great time just chasing the northern lights around. When they are strong like this, it's just a really, really special, cool experience to get to see the Aurora doing stuff like this back behind me. Really, really cool. Currently shooting a time-lapse with the R5 over there. Uh, on this trip, 
I brought a, I actually rented a Sigma 14 millimeter f1.8. It's the old EF version. Really like that lens for Astro. And hopefully we're getting some good stuff tonight. It's freezing cold, but so cool. So it's the second night in Iceland, and once again, the sky is going crazy. I'm up on the Snefflesnes Peninsula tonight. We got Mount Kirkufell in the background, and I've went down to a stream that is not heavily photographed. I like to come here simply because most people go up to uh, Kirkufell Foss, which is the waterfall that you typically see. Anyway, I've opted for a very kind of mellow, kind of boring foreground that way all of the highlights in the sky are going to dominate the eye so it's very very much about what's going on in the sky uh, northern lights are really moving fast tonight they're dancing around a lot so i'm going with a two and a half second exposure and i'm shooting a time lapse down by the water i believe f1.8 and ISO 2000, maybe 1600. And I'm gonna get a time-lapse start here on the R6 as well. Probably gonna go with more of a, a snow foreground and uh, we'll see how that goes. But so cool to have Aurora two nights in a row. It's very seldom that, well, first of all, it's hard to get clear skies, as <laughs> clear nights in Iceland, but it's also really special to have this much activity in the sky, this much, um, this strong of Aurora. Um, two nights in a row so really excited and it's really early too it's only 7 30 p.m so could be in for a long night <laughs> 